Uh, Chris, you've picked out one of our uh, Motor Trend certified vehicles. Um, are you familiar, familiar with Motor Trend? Yeah, I've heard of them. Okay, yeah, they are. Uh, they're auto. It's an auto enthusiast network. Um, auto auto enthusiast uh, magazine. They've got uh, YouTube channels. Basically, they provide advice to consumers on which vehicles are good, which vehicles are vehicles are not so good, which vehicles are sort of in between. Um, we're the only Motor Trend certified store in Southern California. And we earn that distinction by uh, taking better care of customers than anybody else does. But if you're looking at a used car and you happen to pick out a Motor Trend certified used car, um, I, I'm going to guess you might have a fear that some of our other customers have told us they have. And that's the fear of buying somebody else's problem. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and it's, that's evidence that you're a perfectly normal human being. Um, we put our vehicle through an inspection process that's literally four pages long. Now, in the state of California, the law requires that every dealer inspect their used cars before they sell them. But the inspection is basically a safety inspection. Um, do the brakes work? Uh, does the horn honk? Do the lights work? We go way beyond that. We inspect 183 different systems on the vehicle. Because in order to Motor Trend certify the vehicle, it has to pass every single one of those. If it fails, um, we have to make a decision. Is it going to be too expensive to fix or replace what failed? Or do we spend the money to fix or replace it? With, in this particular case, because it's Motor Trend certified, if anything did fail, we fixed it. When we don't, we send the vehicles to auctions. Um, they end up at every other dealership in this area because nobody else certifies their non-factory vehicles except for us. But we just don't inspect them, Chris. Then we guarantee it. And we don't guarantee it with some one-month, 1,000-mile powertrain-only warranty with a 50-50 deductible. We guarantee it with a comprehensive mechanical warranty that covers all of these systems right here. Sure, the powertrain's covered, but so are your seals and gaskets, which, by the way, those are the things most likely to fail on a powertrain. Um, your taxes and fluids are covered. Your cooling system, your heating system, your front suspension, your rear suspension, your fuel system, your electrical system, all your high-tech convenience options, everything listed here is covered for six months or 7,500 miles, subject to a small $100 deductible, which means um, if something did break during those first six months, you're not footing the bill for the repair. All the most of the repair would ever cost you would be a hundred bucks. And Chris, if you plan on keeping the vehicle for longer than six months, and I got a feeling you probably do, make sure you check with our finance managers. They'll show you how to extend this coverage out to three, four, even five years. Okay? So look, let's worry about picking out the right vehicle, but you definitely don't have to worry about buying anybody else's problem here at Galvin Hunt. Okay? Yeah. Well, is, it, is that the first? Uh, keep it on. Is that the first time I've ever done that? No. No. <laughs> no. I practice I practice this stuff a lot. By the way, when I'm on your property, okay, whether it be today or next week, when I'm on your property, I work for your management team. If you ever want me to talk to a customer, whether it's a Motor Trend customer or not, um, if you ever need help getting anyone closed, I would be more than happy to talk to them. I don't close everybody by any strict imagination. Anyone that says they do is a liar. Your customer will have a good time with me, I promise. Um, there is no objection, as long as they're speaking English to me, there is no objection that I am not well prepared to handle. It doesn't mean the customer is going to buy everything I've got to say every time by any stretch of the imagination. But again, I work for you guys. And I would be more than happy to help you close any new car deal, any, any as-is deal, any motor trend deal, anything. So keep that in mind. When, when I'm on your property, I work for you. The sale only pays once, though, right? The training pays for. Uh, um, yeah. What? Yeah. What, what was that? <laughs> um, yeah. A sale makes you a, a living. A skill makes, fortune. You a fortune. makes you a fortune. And you know what? Um, and I've been guilty of this, and I'm sure some of you have been guilty of this. I used to have my manager and say, "Okay, Steve, you're going to this or that sort of training." I'd go, "Oh shit, I'm going to miss floor time." Have we all thought about that? Yeah, of course. A absolutely. I wasn't smart enough when I was younger to recognize that what uh, Dave Anderson said up there was absolutely the truth. A sale makes you a living, a skill makes you a fortune. I wish I had, I wish I had paid more attention to, to some of the training that I'd gotten when I was, uh, when I was younger.
I'd go to the seminars, I'd listen, I'd hear, I wouldn't take notes, I wouldn't practice it. And if you don't take notes, you don't ta you don't practice. The first time you're in a position to use something that's new, do you? No. no. You resort to what you're comfortable doing, and it doesn't make you a bad human being. It makes you a perfectly normal human being. So practice is critical. And you, as a manager, I mean, if you, if you, again, if you ran 15 or 20 minute uh, practice sessions every day, that's all. I'm not talking hours or or even a half an hour. These guys get so much better. So, I mean, really, really fast. Yeah. Role play, role playing, role playing's a blast. I mean, the camera used to scare people. Um, it used to scare me, but now I've done it so often. I mean, I, I watch these videos. I pick out dumb shit that I miss. Okay, but it's it's practicing your profession, and you are professionals. Make no mistake. Yes, sir. What I like about role playing is usually the people that are uh, pretending to be the customer. They're usually throwing out like the hardest and worst like objections. They're that, worse than that the customers. They've ever had. Yeah. They they they're worse than the customers. Yeah. No so no doubt about that. They, they throw out these terrible things that you know most customers aren't going to come up with. Just right. their, just their worst one in the month. Yeah. If you beat each other up every you know for fifteen or twenty minutes every morning, the customers are going to be. They're going to be much easier to handle. Okay, we're going to play this back.